Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd do just a quick video for you today to introduce you to a new tool I've just picked up. Um, now this is made by Ben Orford, most of you will be familiar with him, I've got quite a few of his tools that I've showed you before. Um, and this is an engraving knife. Um, it's a really, really nice little detail carving blade um, and I actually picked it up specifically for doing these little wooden figurines, which I've done a series on previously and I may actually do another one in the near future. Um, I was using kind of um, shop-bought pre-dried wood previously and I've recently started using kind of natural wood sticks that I've picked up and small branches. Um, I'm actually finding it a little bit easier to carve with these. Um, now, one of the problems I've had with carving this kind of thing, because it does contain a fair bit of detail, is finding the right kind of knife blade to use. You know, I've got pen knives, I've got sloyd knives, I've got my little Mora carving knives, and they're all good at certain parts of this, but the one thing none of them really excel at, even the Moras that have got a nice fine point, is the real detail stuff. The blades are just a little bit too long, you can't get a good grip on them without risking cutting your fingers, um, and I was looking looking around for something like this and, and uh, this came very highly recommended. Um, so what I think I'll do, let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you this in a bit more detail. Right then guys, so here it is. This is my engraving knife by Ben Orford. Now to start off with, it comes with Ben's sort of standard handle that he uses for most of his carving tools. Um, I've got a couple of his spoon knives that have this handle and most of his small bladed carving knives come with this as well. As you can see, it's faceted. Um, it's kind of like a rectangular cross section. Um, so it's flatter on one side, a little bit deeper on the other, which gives for a really good grip in my opinion um, and I really do like these handles. Um, now the blade itself, I'll give you a bit of a close-up, it's a Warncliffe style similar to a sheep's foot for those of you that are old enough to remember them um, and the main difference being is that unlike a sheep's foot the curve starts almost as soon as the blade leaves the handle. Um, it's got a sort of a Scandi type bevel on it and it is ridiculously sharp. Um, stamped with Ben's name on the top there um, and along with the uh, stamp on both sides of the handle and on the sheath which I'll come to in a second you know it won't be, it won't be everyone's cup of tea but I really like these little sort of personal touches I think they just make the uh, make the thing for me um, and the reason I bought this um, mostly because this blade is so small it's one inch long um, and it's really good for getting in and doing detail work. You know, even my little Mora 106s and 120s, you know, they've got very fine tips, but because they're quite long, you kind of almost have to pinch them at the end and then try and get in with the detail, and I just find it really cumbersome. So I wanted something like this that was really small, really short, um, really, really good for detail, which is exactly what it's for. Um, now, as I say, it comes with a really nicely made leather uh, push fit sheath. Um, there's nothing to retain it in there apart from the fact that it's a nice tight fit. Now you're not going to want to leave this in your rucksack or your pocket. You could probably get away with it but you know even though this is going nowhere you really do have to sort of grip it and give it a good pull to get it out. You know if this was in my pocket I would be worried about it sort of working loose just through movement. Um, so you know I maybe will get like a little bit of elastic or something just to sort of wrap around and sort of hold it together if, if I'm going to carry it like that. But really you know this is either going to be in my little portable carving kit um, which is sort of like in a little um, little sort of zip up military style bag um, or it's going to stay here with me in my workshop. Um, so I mean, what else can I say about this? So you can see my little figure, I've just been playing around with this for the last couple of days. It's by no means uh, particularly good, you know, I'm not particularly great at these, but I do enjoy carving them. And this has been made exclusively with my little Mora 106. Um, and you can hopefully see sort of round by the arms here, um, you know, especially in the crook of the elbow and things like that, round the back here where I've kind of separated the legs. Um, you know, the Mora doesn't really cut it, if you excuse the pun. Um, the difference being is with this, I can spend some time, um, and what I'm probably going to be using this for primarily now is I'll use my little Mora or a pen knife or whatever I've got to hand to carve these to begin with and do all the rough carving. Um, and then what I should be able to do, and let me see if I can get this on the camera for you, you know, I can then take this knife and just kind of tidy up all these little lines. And because it's so small, it's obviously really lightweight, 
and it's very, very sharp, I can put very little pressure on here. Um, and if I just show you a little close up now of this piece of the armor, hopefully that's focusing. Or right, a couple of little chatter marks in there, but I can smooth those out. But this bit here is now really, really smooth, especially in comparison to say something like this. Um, and you know what? I can probably and, it, and the benefit of this, you can see, I can get right up in this blade here with no risk of cutting myself, and I can just very, very slowly, gradually. Um, and sort of with a lot of precision and just take these bits off and you know a couple of very small little finishing cuts there you know it's not perfect and I could spend more time on it but actually it really does make a big difference um, and especially when you come around to details like on the face and the mouth um, even little things down to things like a belt um, you know the shoes that kind of thing this just really lets me get in really really close really really detailed fine work um, without the risk of sort of a longer knife blade that I've either got to hold further back which means there's a bigger risk of sort of you know the tip of it hitting into things that you don't want it to um, or having to hold it really close up which isn't particularly safe um, so really this was just meant to be a really quick episode just to show you this knife um, so far from, from what I've seen of it over the last few days and using it I really really like it um, so obviously you know if you're in the market for a small detail carving knife definitely recommend you one of these Right then guys, well I hope that was useful. As I say, just a short video to introduce you to this knife and you will most certainly be seeing more of this in future videos. Um, as I say, you know, I'm not affiliated to Ben, you know, this is not an advertising video, I don't get any kickback for this, um, but I do own quite a few of Ben's tools and I do think they are something really, really special. Um, you know, they're not as cheap as Mora's, um, but you know, the old saying, you do get what you pay for. Um, and with the amount of carving that I do um, and the benefits some of these more specialist tools will have for me, it's certainly money well spent. Um, so that's it for today, guys. Comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Cheers, guys.